Do you have an unapproachable mindset about Chinese or even feel intimidated after hearing that Chinese has four tones and thousands of characters in it? What if I told you that Mandarin Chinese is not as difficult as you think? As a non-native Chinese speaker, I feel like the best way to learn languages just like Chinese is to learn through someone who had already passed through the same experience who can relate very well to you know, the situation also can tell stories based on the current situation which is why i made this channel and create some videos to help foreigners like me who would like to learn chinese faster and as well integrate into any chinese environment soon today we'll be focusing on how best you can learn chinese from nothing to fluency so we'll be introducing some resources, methods, materials that when you use it, you can be able to learn swiftly. If you're looking for a reason to study Chinese, you should know that Chinese is the most widely spoken language in the world with over 1.3 billion speakers. You hear it's so difficult. Maybe they just want to freak you out. There are so many amazing self-learning resources. All you need is some guidance on how to find the right learning resources, materials, methods, and even creating a very good study plan for yourself. If you're new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, kindly click the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. Also share your experience in the comment section. In addition to my experience in learning Chinese, I have compiled a lot of information as someone who had done a lot of cultural exchanges and even taught Mandarin Chinese to some of the foreigners. I've seen some of their weaknesses and even struggles which I can also relate to. In this video, I won't just be sharing resources and methods that you'll be needing in your language studies. I will also guide you through on concrete method that you can follow in order to study Chinese from beginning to advanced level. For each level, I will recommend specific resources that will target different skills and also guide you through some daily routine plans that will help you kickstart your learning journey. Keep in mind that learning a language requires motivation, it requires consistency and discipline. Adjust to a suitable version based on your situation. Let me explain briefly what HSK is. HSK stands for Hanyu Shuiping Kaoshi, which is a standard proficiency test for Chinese non-native speakers. It is divided into six levels starting from elementary to advanced level each level contains vocabularies and grammar points that you need to learn so as a newbie or as a beginner your goal should be to discover the learning system and prepare the basic learning tools in chinese we have what is called pinyin and hands pinyin and hands are two important components of mandarin chinese you can ask what is hands hands are the written characters that are used in Chinese. They are the pictographical or ideographical symbols that represent concepts, different concepts. And usually, you know what? They are very, very necessary in writing and understanding Mandarin. You should also know that simplified Chinese are usually used in the mainland China. So then what is pinyin is a system of representing Mandarin pronunciation using Latin alphabets. So pinyin is usually used as the teaching tools for non-native Chinese speakers. It provides more accessible ways to learn pronunciations and tones before tackling the complex characters of hands. It only takes some weeks to get familiar with the sounds of the language. And lucky enough, there are now several resources online that you can learn Chinese with. So I would recommend those videos. Try listening to those videos and pause, actively practice alongside the video. Repeat each sound until you are very familiar with the sounds. Also, there are some apps that offer pinyin and tone training. Or you can even start with the basics using some well-structured app like the Super Chinese where you can train your pronunciation with the help of AI. I do not recommend studying too long at the beginning. Just 15 minutes each time is enough for you to help build up the studying habits. During this period, a lot of people prefer to focus on pin other than characters if that is comfortable or convenient for you you can as well focus on pin at first if you also have a chinese friend you can as well tell the person to help you in correcting your pronunciation what we just talked about is the first week now we are entering the second week of learning Chinese as a beginner. People always say that 
writing Chinese is so much difficult than complicated, which I know and I can relate to that. And then they are discouraged to start with pinyin. Guys, you know what? To be honest, Hanzi is the heart of Chinese language. Of course, pinyin is very foreigner friendly, as you can easily type them or even write it very easily, right? But one thing I can tell you is that writing your characters is the best way to memorize those characters. So it shouldn't be ignored from the beginning. Although you might want to start with pinyin, but alongside you should also put your interests in hand. One mistake that people make when learning Hanzi is jumping immediately into vocabulary list. Starting Hanzi without learning the radicals will make things very much harder for you. So what are radicals? In Chinese writing system, a radical is a graphical component of a character that gives its meaning and helps in the classification and indexing of the characters. Radicals are often known as key and clues, often indicates the semantic category of characters. There are up to 214 radicals in Chinese writing system, which are used to classify and organize characters in the dictionary and other writing references. For example, the radical for a tree is drawn as mu, which is known as wood. By recognizing and understanding the meaning of radicals of a character, you can easily learn and understand the meaning of a new character that is related to that radical. So for your week two, I would suggest learning the most common radicals. At this point, focus on understanding what each radical represents because each of these radicals represents characters. If you're able to recognize a radical, that means you can be able to identify characters in a sentence wherever you see them. So learning radicals will take you about two weeks to complete. You mustn't memorize them all at once. Being able to identify them is also part of learning. So in two weeks, you'll be studying a couple of radicals every day through writing. In that two weeks, try to find a corresponding hand with the radicals. Remember, you don't need to memorize them at this time. Just recognize them at first and also be able to identify their functions. It is also important to train how you picture a character from the beginning. To practice character, whether hands or pinyin, you can use TOEFL Learning. TOEFL Learning offers different sets of writing practices for different levels and also for radicals. It's available on mobile app and desktop. Or you can as well buy notebooks that are designed for Chinese children for learning hands. These materials are very helpful in practicing stroke orders in writing. If you're interested in them, you can find them on Amazon or AliExpress. But if you're living in China or within China, you can also find them on Taobao or Pinduoduo. Or you can even consider buying a Chinese radical poster if you want. It's also a very helpful way to learn radicals and characters as well. Another tip guys, always remember to add your pinyin whenever you write a radical or any word. It is a very good habit to get used to reading pinyin while writing characters. The Pleco Dictionary is also a very good resource for learning Chinese. It can help you to break down every character into a basic component. Remember guys, most of these tools are free tools that easily help you to learn Chinese very faster. What are you waiting for? But if you have more budget, there are paid dictionaries such as Handbook, which is also a great dictionary. You can also try it out. Handbook is very great resource as it offers more than just definition. It offers so many great features such as adding words to your own private collections, reviewing with flashcards and testing later. In this phase, make sure to continue practicing your tones and pronunciation very well because they are very, very important. If you make your pronunciation a very good priority, it means that you will be able to hear very well when people speak and also you'll be able to speak with the right pronunciation. Now we already know the basic concepts of Chinese language and we've prepared the basic tools for learning. Let's now look at HSK, what HSK entails. In HSK level one, you're expected to learn and understand the basic words and simple phrases. HSK one is usually seen as a beginner level 
and it comprises of just 150 vocabularies so i estimate 15 days to complete this particular level you expected to study at least 10 characters or 10 words 10 vocabularies each day i know some people prefer studying with structured books i recommend hsk books you can buy hsk books online where you have the conversation grammar points and detailed explanations of those words there are also some youtube videos which are based off the hsk lessons and then for hsk 2 to 6 you can use this book collections and the videos i mentioned earlier as your learning resources as well so now let's set the plan start from writing 10 characters each day no matter how busy or less busy you are the writing practices shouldn't take more than 30 minutes and i believe writing is the best way to memorize words and characters with this method you'll be able to hit two birds with one stone you memorize the meaning and practice the writing right try writing one character over and over again a couple of times then on a separate paper test yourself if you can be able to remember them keep repeating this process until you are able to remember all the words you've practiced another useful technique is to make a separate paper for only pinyin and the meaning and then you try to remember the corresponding hands you should also not forget to do your weekly review to be able to emphasize on the words or characters you practice over the time secondly you can also choose any app of your choice and set it to study 10 characters every day you can use the apps like super chinese or quizlet you don't just only learn characters pinyin and try memorizing them just alone so the third thing which is very very crucial step that you have to take and you need to master as soon as you start practicing or learning chinese is learning how to speak out reading out loud cannot be underestimated because it helps build your confidence whether you know what you're saying whether you can already speak the chinese or you cannot speak chinese make sure you read out loud always don't read in your mind make sure you read out loud a negative effect of not reading out loud is that some people already know what to say in their head but they don't have the boldness to say it out because they're not sure if it's correct or not so reading out loud will help you to build up the energy to speak whether you know what you're saying or you don't know what you're saying all languages have their grammatical structures right if you have already gotten the hsk books you can follow through and read each lessons and practices because each of them have their own practices and listening part as well we'll be ending this video here kindly give this video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed Make sure to click your subscribe button and as well turn on your notification bell in order to get notified whenever I post videos on this channel. I'll see you soon.